preparation step. After setting the new job, the software will automatically switch to the guided import of the scan file. From the project folder, we select at the top the requested files, one by one. Once you do this, you will be able to see the uploaded files in the CAD. At the bottom of the screen, you find the step bar, which will guide us through every step to the final export of the project. The interactive bar shows the progress of your job and points out any possible warning in the construction process by giving suggestions or reporting any obstacles to the planning process. On the left, we find a series of tools that are to be used from the top down. Please keep in mind that not every tool must be used necessarily to finalize your job correctly. On the right, you have the model tree, which shows you all the objects available in the CAD case. This is a dynamic and interactive tool. Indeed, not only does it control visibility and transparency of every object on the screen, but also enables you to upload the new meshes, disable the active ones, and replace them with new ones by right-clicking on the different buttons. All the mandatory meshes, that is, all the required meshes in order to complete the construction process, if missing, will be signaled in red. The software won't be allow you to proceed until you upload and provide them. You may also add meshes by drag and dropping them. By doing this, the meshes will be imported as generic. Subsequently, you can right-click and assign them to a specific function. Once you have imported and assigned all mandatory meshes, you may proceed to HipsoCAD tools, starting from occlusion plane. Its correct inclination will determine your restoration's direction by facilitating the anatomical positioning of the diff. Moving the mouse onto plane activates four movement arrows, thanks to which you may correctly position your occlusal plane. To modify the plane's inclination, you just need to press and hold on to the area you want to edit. By press and holding control as well, you can move the plane around on the working space. On each pole, you find a control focal point, which enables you to simply move the plane or to flip it upside down by double clicking. In order to set the correct direction, position the upper model in occlusal view. Now, you should have the rough sketch of the palette. Likewise, with the lower model in occlusal view, we should get a rough sketch of the horse show. Thanks to the tool From Points, we can automatically find the right positioning of the occlusal plane. To use this tool, simply activate one of the two arches we view from above. At this point, the software will be able to recognize the inclination of your restoration in just three clicks. The first two clicks should be on the outer molars and the third one between the incisors. We will check again the correct inclination of the plane, and if necessary, we may modify the occlusal plane by using the methods described above. Once we are satisfied with our occlusal plane, we can click on OK and proceed to other changes. In this case, the mastication is not accurate, so we will import a new check byte file to align again the scans. By simply drag and dropping, we import a new scan as a generic one. Then we proceed to use the tool Move Align on the menu on the left. The target is the reference mesh on which we should align the one we are considering. 
we will use the mesh we had just imported as target, and we will align again the arches, one by one. We select the model we need to register. The color will change as you do this. At this point, we will have three alignment methods, automatic, one click, and three points. It is possible to check out the correct alignment thanks to an optional color map and to assess the distance via mean value. With the edit tool on the menu on the left, it is possible to modify the mesh, delete parts, close the holes up, refine the meshes, invert normals, separate and combine the clusters. Below, we have the selection tools that help us isolate the different parts. We select the Sculpt tool from the menu on the left so that we can modify the scan data. Specifically, we may add Remove and smooth the scans. When we proceed to the next step, HipsoCAD will automatically save the assigned meshes in the Input CAD folder along with all the editing made in preparation mode. Once we complete the preparation phase, we proceed on to modeling of the prosthesis using the CAD. We will learn more about modeling in the next video.